Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, June 2nd, and we're, uh, we're in summer now, apparently. 80 degrees, sunny, lots of thunderstorms, uh, but hey, at least it's not snowing. Uh, I know there's been a lot of really bad weather over the past couple of weeks in different parts of the country. Uh, we, we actually had some tornadoes not too far from here, which is unusual for, for this area. I mean, we get tornado warnings quite frequently, but it's very rare that an actual tornado happens. Um, but we did get a few, um, and some really violent weather, uh, very high winds, lots of, uh, you know, hail, heavy rain, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> so it's been, it's been interesting, but, uh, yeah, life goes on, and, uh, it's, it's beautiful sunny day today, and we'll see how the, how the rest of the day shapes up. So... I'm smoking, or at least attempting to smoke, because I let it go out, some Four Noggins Weybridge in, uh, in this cob. And the reason I'm smoking it in a cob is that I forgot to bring a pipe downstairs with me today. And I was too lazy to go back upstairs. So, you get one of my shop pipes. But it is a, it's a pretty cob. It's one of the ones that I uh, modified pretty early on. This cob's got to be going on 10 years old now. And, uh, yeah, it's got the, the extensions chipped out, the um, pipe mud in the bottom. And you can see there's a little sort of coppery band right there that I did with, um, actually with a metallic thread uh, rod wrapping thread if those of you that have ever built a fly rod or a fishing rod know what know what that is and then a layer of epoxy over it uh, I did that just so that I could pick it out from the non-modified cobs that I had at the time but it's uh, it's behaved very well so it's funny you, you know you you think of these and I, I don't mean to disparage corn cob pipes, but you think of them as being disposable in a sense, and yet uh, they can they can just keep going and going. And it's not for lack of smoking. I probably smoke this thing at least once a week. Assuming I'm down here. And actually I have not been down here, I think, other than maybe just to bring something down or to get a tool. I don't think I've been down here since last weekend. Uh, if, you, if you saw my Friday ramble, you know it's just been a really hectic time at work, and uh, that is thankfully passed, so I'm looking forward to getting back to, to shop work now. But I did want to talk about this uh, Weybridge. So so Weybridge is uh, it's a four noggins blend. And I was reminded of it when uh, I talked a few weeks ago about uh, the John Patton, I think it was early Oriental Dusk that I was talking about. And uh, John uh, Matches860 commented that he remembers uh, the video I did on Weybridge, and he called Weybridge uh, Haunted Bookshop Light. And, and it, it is, in, 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 in a lot of senses, a... It's very similar to Haunted Bookshop in a lot of ways. I did a, an impressions video on that, and I'll link it and hopefully have it pop up in one of these corners if I remember. It, it, it's an excellent tobacco, and I really enjoy it, but I haven't smoked it in a long time. So when I saw John's comment, I thought, huh, I want to get some of that out. So I, I went up to uh, my, my cellar, went up to my cellar. That sounds funny. I keep my cellar in an upstairs bedroom. Uh, and I, I pulled out a jar. I've got several jars of Weybridge that I put away. And this is, uh, forgive my scrawl here, but this was put away in January of 2016. So it's got, uh, you know, like three and a half years of age. Now, if you've followed me for any length of time and, or read my blog, you know that I'm not... I believe that aging of tobacco is, is one of the... Uh, 
one of the great refuges of, of pseudoscience. There's, you know, clearly tobacco is aged. There's no question about it. But I think what most people think of as aging is really melding of the flavors. There's not a lot of evidence that anything really changes just because time passes. But what can happen is if you, if you start with a fermented Virginia, it's possible that that fermentation process can continue and that Virginia can continue to mature. Now all this stuff about bloom and sugar crystals and all that, guys, I'm sorry, it's all bacteria or mold. There's no other explanation for it. There is not sugar crystals on your tobacco. It is mold or bacteria. And I can point you to references that prove that if you, if you don't believe me. Um, I have a blog uh, posting on this and I'll actually I'll link that below because uh, I can't link it up here. Uh, so if you, if you don't believe me on that, go check that out before you yell at me in the comments about, <laughs> about uh, sugar crystals. But at any rate, I, uh, so I'm really dragging this out. I opened up this, this jar of Weybridge, and as you can see, I don't have very much of it left. This was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> this was one, honestly, this was one of the best tobaccos I've ever had. So Weybridge is a, it's, it's a Virginia Burley Perique, and I think what distinguishes, distinguishes it from Haunted Bookshop or Old Joe Krantz is that both Haunted Bookshop and Old Joe Krantz have a high amount of Burley. Haunted Bookshop has some Red Virginia, Old Joe Krantz has more Red Virginia. But Weybridge, I think, actually inverts that proportion. So Weybridge has a lot of Red Virginia, a fair amount of Burley, and, uh, and Perique. And apparently the way Four Noggins makes this is they blend the, the Virginia and the Burley and then they stove it um, and and then they use that to, to make the blend. And it's really good, just, just on its own. But what came out of this jar after three and a half years was it, it just had developed, those Virginias had developed so much. They were so sweet and deep and uh, it, it just was a fantastic smoking experience. Uh, so I then, of course, immediately had to buy another sample of Weybridge, and I I won't be able to show you this very effectively, but I'll take a picture and try to insert it. But if you can see the color there, compared to the color here, it really has darkened up quite a bit. I'll take a picture and I'll, I'll probably use that in the bumper, and, and I'll try to insert it uh, somewhere around here. So, clearly this is a tobacco that did change over time, um, and I think, again, it comes down to the fact that it was a, a fermented Virginia to begin with, uh, a stoved, mature red that was uh, able to continue that process once it was uh, sealed up in the jar. So, I fortunately have three or four more jars of this which I will guard jealously and probably never smoke because I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to lose them. Uh, but my plan is to try to put at least half of this pound of Weybridge in, in jars and uh, you know maybe get a couple years on that as well. So by the time I retire maybe I'll have enough to open up one jar a year before I uh, skip off to the other side. So, shop-wise, don't have a lot to report. Like I said, work has been crazy. Uh, but we had a, a... We had closure this past week. So the thing that I had been working on actually happened, and it went well, and, and all was good. So hopefully I'll be able to get some of my work-life balance balanced back more towards the life side than the work side. And... Uh, I heard somebody recently say, shouldn't that be life-work balance? And yeah, it probably should. What I have been doing to uh, sort of burn off a little bit of, of steam um, is I've been, I've been playing around with wood carving. I've, I've got carving tools, I've got plenty of wood. And it just gives me something where I can sit out in, on the patio at night when it's not raining 
and uh, just fool around a little bit. I haven't carved anything. I, I basically have taken big pieces of wood and made them into little pieces of wood. Um, it's been a long time since I've tried carving, uh, but yeah, it's 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 fun. It, it it's a good outlet. I guess it's whittling. Uh, I guess that's what you call it when you're just making toothpicks. But anyway, it's it's been fun, and I may I may try to do something that's not a toothpick, and if so, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure it'll show up there. Right now, my Instagram feed is mostly just bottles of beer with cigars, pipes, and some uh, wood shavings. So, not, not, a very, not a very good reason to go uh, subscribe to it, but you never know. So, I think I'm actually coming to the bottom of this bowl. And we got our typical Sunday lined up. Got to get in some groceries. Got to uh, make the dogs happy. And if all goes well, I might come back down here later today and uh, start to get some more work done. Uh, it's coming along. It's just a very slow process. But we'll get there. I, I, have, I have a great deal of confidence that this is going to ultimately be uh, a much better, much more useful shop for everything that I want to be doing. And uh, I'm looking forward to taking you along on doing some of those things. So friends, uh, with that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap this up. I hope you all are having a great weekend and are looking forward to a fantastic week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.